What's up, guys? It's your boy, Racy Boy, back with another video. Are you good? I hope you guys are good. Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Guys, we're almost to another month, guys. We're almost here. We're almost here, guys. Okay, so what we're having this morning is this. And I've never tried it before, but it looks like... If I'm totally honest, guys, it looks like someone threw this up and then just put this in a bowl. I'm not lying and I'm not trying to be disgusting, but that's what it looks like. But it's it's mashed. Okay, so it looks like it is some type of stuffing, stovetop stuffing with chicken in it, potatoes and tomatoes. And I don't like cooked tomatoes. It always hurts my stomach. And then a little bit of bacon. So that's what this is. It. This is what it is. Okay, and then this is what it looks like after you microwave it that's why i said it looks disgusting like someone threw up in it but you gotta stir it up and then i have a topic for today guys that i've not talked about and i don't want to be pulled into something guys but i want to talk about something that has been on my mind hold on Okay, so, oh, we have to say grace first. Dear God, bless this food and bless this time in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about something that has been on my mind. Okay. Oh, and we have my peach, or we have my great tea, my favorite tea, guys, my favorite tea. They haven't hit me up yet to say, like, thank you for talking about them and stuff. Actually, I take that back. This is really good. It almost tastes homemade, actually. It really does. Okay. So, what I want to talk to you guys about. There's a lot of different people. There's the Tony Lopez story that I really don't want to talk about because I don't know the whole story. And because, because of that situation is still outgoing and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube and I don't want to get sued and I don't want to have not that I'm that big that he would even know but like like still I just don't want to talk about it but I don't want to talk about it but what I want to talk about, and it's kind of getting frustrating to me, being a YouTuber and being in this community. If you guys see a light flashing, my little light that my sister bought me almost four years ago, it's starting to act up. I don't know why. Like, I wonder if that is in the, the reviews about these type of lights that they don't last that long. I mean, you see how it's changing colors. Like, you see that? That's not me. I'm not doing that. And I'm not even shaking the table. It's just flickering, frickling. Oh my gosh. Anyways, guys, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I have a headache today. I don't know why. I woke up with a headache. Yeah, this is okay, but then it's not okay. I think I'm actually done because I feel my stomach starting to bubble. I don't want to get in pain. Yeah, I think I'm done. Um, so, um, what was I saying? You hear my, did you guys hear my stomach? Oh my God. Oh, okay, so Trisha's Pace, whatever her name is, I can't even say her name right. 
She is this YouTuber, right? Oh my God, this light, what the heck? She is this, oh my gosh, this is going to get annoying during the whole video. Like, I don't understand what's going on. You guys are going to think there's a ghost there. She is, oh my gosh, like literally, guys. I feel like something's like a ghost is in my room. But anyways, she's like this YouTuber that's already been banned from TikTok, banned from Instagram, banned from, not banned from YouTube yet. But she's allowed to talk about whoever she wants to talk about. And she's known for drama. She's known for issues. She's known for that already, right? And so YouTube loves... Okay, you just have to hit it. Okay, YouTube loves a train wreck. I don't know why they love a train wreck, okay? I think the creators of it was just loves gossip. Because if you look at any type of like famous YouTubers or famous TikTok stars, they use their platforms for good sometimes. And then they use them for bad sometimes. And a lot of times they use it. Oh my God, this light is going to drive me crazy. Okay. You guys see this? I'm not gonna use this thing. I'm not gonna use this. Now I just completely went off in my video. I'm sorry guys, give me a minute. Oh my God. Come on. Okay, we're just going to use this one, guys. Sorry about that. Because this is being stupid. I don't know what's wrong with it. And my sister bought that for me. I'm so mad. I just, I, I guess it needs a new, I don't, how do you fix that? Like, how do you change the light bulbs? Like, I don't even know. Okay, so this, the lighting is just not going to look that good now. But, um, like I was saying was, a lot of people will do their breakup relationships or they will, like, if you're really invested in this person's, like, relationship. Like, okay, I'm going to use someone an example of some different celebrity or some different big, um, big relationships. Liza and David, they were, like, the hit couple. Everyone loved them. They were together, right? For a long time. Long, long. She's funny. He's funny. And he's, like, one of the biggest YouTubers out there, right? Um... And then all of a sudden, like, I think it was last year, the year before, it might have been way before that, too. They might have. No, I think it was just like two years ago, maybe they broke up. Right. No one saw them breaking up. Right. And then they do this dramatic, sad, not really dramatic. Like I've seen worse than that. But they did this really sad video where they were just talking about everything. But they said they would still stay friends. They were still in the same circle of friends. So they're like, we're definitely going to have to like see each other. But we're still going to love each other and we're going to still respect each other. But we're just, it's, they just didn't have enough time for each other. And that's okay. I understand those type of breakups. That's normal. It's hard to have time for this girl if you're doing movies and TV shows and commercials and, and then you're acting and at that time, she was hosting some big new Nickelodeon show that came back from the 90s. I think it got canceled, but she was hosting that at the time. Um, and then she was doing movies and red carpets and she was just doing different stuff. And then he was doing his own thing. So anyways, they did their breakup. Now, there's other people who like there's a lot of gossip YouTube channels that I do follow. I do follow like the T and I do follow like TikTok room and I do follow like just different gossip channels that are the um that one i forgot what it's called something what is it called there's not the shade room what is it called i don't remember but the guy's always talking crap about people i don't want to end up on there but i probably will one day who knows um hopefully for good reasons um but anyway so trisha is like attacking so many different people he she was attacking jeffree star james charles um who else was she attacking? Bryce Hall. Like, there were so many different people that she was like attacking on all of her social media. And what was funny was that Perez Hilton was attacking. She He wasn't really attacking. He's known for gossip. Like he has the whole Perez Hilton social media accounts. And he had his own TV show, reality show with his mom. He has been on different TV. Sh like, you know, he had everything. He's known for that. You know, and we've watched his weight go up and down. He has three kids. 
He's known for that. But TikTok kicked him off. He's banned from TikTok. He can never use TikTok again because he was attacking Charlie D'Amelio and other people. And I get that 100% because she's a minor. He's a grown adult. I get that. You can't attack minors. Like, that's just bullying. And you should know better because you're a grown man. He's older than me. So you should know better. But what I don't get is, okay, and I'm coming to, I'm not really coming to his defense, but I am coming to defense of other people who have been banned from TikTok or banned from Instagram or banned from other stuff who are kind of doing the same thing, but they get in trouble for it. But then the people who are like big platforms, it's okay for them to bully each other or bully other people. I don't get that. Like, I really like, okay, we're going to go, we're going to talk about something and maybe you guys remember this or not. Okay. So the whole little huddy, James, whatever his name was, or Josh Richards and all those different people, that whole issue that was happening, right? They kick him out of the house, all this stuff. They talk mad crap about him. They literally just dog this, this kid basically, right? And he already was dealing with other issues, okay? And yes, he messed up. Yes, he should have not cheated. Yes, he should have not kissed. Yes, he should have done what not done what he did. But at the end of the day, he's young. And I feel like all those people in those houses are young. They need to stop getting these serious relationships. They're young. You don't need a serious relationship unless you can be completely, completely faithful to this person, right? 100% faithful to this person. Like you love this person to death and hopefully she does too, or he does, whatever your situation is, whatever way you go. Or she to she, whatever, you know, whatever way you go, that's your choice, right? It's between you and God and that person. Um, hopefully that person loves you 100%, 100%, right? That they would not lie on you, cheat on you, steal from you, put their hands on you, or do anything that violates you in any type of way. Um, put out stories, leak pictures, whatever it is, right? Just to get famous, right? That is messed up. That makes me so angry. They should have respect for you enough that they can be like, look, we're just not, this isn't working, let's end it and whatever. But keep it off of social media, right? But if you guys notice, when Chase and What's Her Face broke up, that went everywhere. And you notice how he disappeared for so long and lost his close friends that he was super, super close with and went into a depression and then posted that live where he was literally crying and like broke so many people's hearts because so many people wanted him to die. So many people hated him. So many people called him canceled. So many people were like just done, right? With him. So the smart thing that he did, and I'm actually proud of him for a young person to do this, was just step away for a little bit. Like, just take a break. Like, just stay off of social media. And that was really good. And now he's back and he's 100%. And he was just in a big, big music video. Like, you know, and he has other stuff that he wants to do. Like, I think that that is so cool that some of these young kids will make mistakes and they will come back and they will be better from their mistakes. Like, I always say, like, Cameron Dallas, he had an alcohol problem and a drug problem. I think he was just an alcoholic. And he stepped away for so long and went to rehab and got help. And now he's doing really good. Didn't lose any of his modeling career and stuff. Like people still want to work with him. Not so much his music still, but like, I think he put out an album or something. Like now I'm hungry again. I put out something like a year ago. I keep eating on this side and it hurts. I don't know what I did to this tooth again. Oh my God, I hate that crap. And I've been brushing my teeth. <sighs> Guys, please brush your teeth. That, just, just learn from me all the tooth crap that I've had. Please brush your teeth. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The pain that you go through, it's not worth it. And I'm not in pain. I just have a little crack. And when food gets in there, it hits the gum and it hurts. And it's like a sharp pain. Like, it doesn't hurt like this one did. This one hurt all the time because it was, the nerve was open. This one, the nerve is not open. It's just when food gets in there, like, there's a little crack, like, right here. And when food goes in there, it's like, boom, and it sends a sharp pain to my brain. And I don't like that. It drives me crazy. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Um, But I am done with it. Guys, I only ate half. Like, I only could eat half. Okay, so and I always put it back into the box. I don't know why, just so it doesn't spill anywhere. But it was good. Go get you guys some. Please go get you guys some. It was good. Okay, so like I was saying, 
like I was saying. Now you guys can see that. So, <clears throat> with these different people, and I'm not bashing anybody. I know people hate when I do stuff like this, but I'm not bashing anybody. I'm just telling you my opinion because I'm fans of all these people, like 100%. I'm fan of anybody that is kicking it and doing awesome on their platforms. I think that it's amazing that you can, like, you can you can have like a really crappy 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 upbringing or whatever or have deal with depression or anxiety food disorder speech impediment been abused whatever happened and you turned it into some type of business and you're making millions and millions of like views but you're helping other people to come out of their shell their shy bubble and you're telling people that it's okay like that's not the end of the world like you're going to be all right like that to me is amazing when you use your platform for good what I'm talking about are the people who are using their platforms for negative. When you're attacking somebody else that is already at their lowest, that's the part that drives me crazy. Like if I'm ever to the point, and I always say when I am or if I am, because I don't want to seem cocky. Because a lot of people say, oh, he seems cocky. No. I'm like one of the, and I'm not, and see now I sound cocky by saying this, but I'm one of the humblest people that you'll ever meet. Like if I ever am to the point where I'm big, it's not going to be for me. It's going to be for other people. It's going to be, it's one, it's going to be to glory to God. That's number one. Like it's definitely going to be during glory to God. Number two would be to help people. I would say bring honor to my family, but there are certain people in my family that think that I started this thing just to bash people and it was not to bash people. So there's certain members of my family that I feel like would be proud of me. And there's certain members that I feel like they would be just like, well, why did he even do it? Like, so that's still up in the air. Like, I don't know who I would trust with, like, telling them that I made it. Like, I know I would 100% tell my sisters, um, 100% would tell my aunts, but that's pretty much it. Um, because they would understand and they would care. They wouldn't be like, well, are you sure about that? Da, 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 da. You know, are you sure you heard right? You know, stuff like that. Like, they would just be like, oh, we're really proud of you, Matthew. Oh, and Jama would know 100%. Like, hands down, Jama would know, probably be the first one to know. Before anyone, she would know. Um, so like I was saying, because now we're almost like, we're 17 minutes into this video. Sorry if you're bored. But hear me out. Hear me out. Um, like I told you guys, I have a heart. And if I was in that situation where like, say, say I was a member of the Hype House, okay? Probably would not happen. But anyways, because I'd be the oldest one there. I could be like literally half of their, well, no. Because they're all in their 20s. So I would have had to have kids young. But anyways, just say that I was a part of the hype house. Like whatever I was in the hype house, right? And say crap went down. A lot of crap goes down in that house. You hear it on the news all the time. You hear it. Da, 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 da. There's certain choices that some of the people in that house would have never made if they had a good, solid person with a good head on their head that was not letting the fame go to their head. Like there's certain things that would have just not happened because... And it's not like I'm saying I would go in there and I'd be a, like really mean and like evil. I just mean like I would be that voice of reckoning like, hey, Reese boy or hey, Matt, whatever. Do you think I should do this? And I'm like, nah, are you stupid? Like, no. Like, I wouldn't say it like that. Well, I probably would. Joking around. But at the same time, be like, nah, like, no, that's it. Like, just stop. Because of what I've been through in my own life and my own struggles with like just different things, I would be like, no, guys, that's not like, no, don't. Like, I don't even care. Like, you can be mad at me all you want to be mad at me. But, like, I just saved your life or I just protect you from a bad situation or whatever. Like, no. Like, they need guidance. They don't have guidance. And you can see the ones who have guidance and you can see the ones who don't have guidance. Like, you can see it. They're all were rushed into fame. They're, they're almost like another Justin Bieber. They really are. They're like, you have all this fame and all this money just like at your fingertips and you don't know what you're doing with it. And then you have people that see that you're naive that want to come at you and be like, okay, let me see if I can get some of these millions and millions of dollars. And then they mess with you financially, mentally, and physically sometimes. And I think that that is the part that drives me crazy with Hollywood and with the social media influencers is that where are their family members? Like, I understand that their family members are probably, like, letting them do their own thing. But you still need that, like, cousin or uncle or older brother or older sister or even a mom or a dad. And even though they're the ones stealing your money, too, sometimes. But 
Because what you guys forget is a lot of these people, when they got super, super big, they were minors when they got big. So they had to have a, a legal adult to sign whatever paperwork for them because you're not allowed to do that. And then as they grew into their fame and the money started rolling in, that parent was taking the money and, and hiding it in a secret account. And then the kid was finding out later when they were about 18, like, uh, where's all the money that I made? You know, and then it's like, so I'm not saying you, I mean, by law, you have to have an adult with you, but I say like take like a cousin or an uncle, someone that you truly, truly, truly trust. Don't, I mean, if you truly are super close with your mom and dad and you trust them, then that's good. But if you know that they will secretly do something behind your back because they don't think that you're all there or whatever, then I say don't use your family members. I say use someone, and that's hard too because it's like, how do you use someone outside of your family? And then they could screw you too. And it happens, they do. But... Just from watching these different, like the whole Jake Paul situation with Team Tim, the first Team 10, and how that just fell apart. And then we heard about how they got half of all the money that those members ma made. And then how like those twins left and then the other twins left. And then uh, Chase and Anthony, well, Chase left first. Well, he was kicked out supposedly or whatever happened. And then, and then he tried to ruin the friendship between Chase and Anthony that they had, but now they're back and they're close and they don't really even talk to Jake. And then you have like other members of team 10 that have left that like, don't have anything to do. Like you had Nick over there. You had all these other people that left. And then he starts a whole brand new team 10. And then those people are the ones who went and did the hype house and the, all the different, the sway house and all those different people from copying Jake. And what I think is so messed up is that like, at the end of the day, what's worth it? Your fringe, your your money? Okay, no. What's worth it? Friendship to you or fame and money? And then you're completely by yourself. You could be in a big mansion all by yourself, one person in this house. And especially if you haven't even settled down and don't have a wife or kids or anything. But then all those friendships that you've known these people since you were little kids, you threw it away for fame and fortune. There's no way. Mm -mm. Nope. Jama keeps saying that that's going to happen to us. And I said... No, that's probably gonna, and I, I said, it's reversed now because you're more famous than I am. So it would happen to you. And then she's like, no. And I'm like, well, okay. But it's like, at, again, it's loyalty to each other. You have to have loyalty to each other because at the end of the day, if you don't have that loyalty to each other, then what's the point? You know, like, what's the point of, of being friends? Like, if you don't have that. Like, and I think that that's why a lot of people, a lot of people's friendships have ended because of social media. A lot of people have lost friendships because of not being truthful to each other, lying to each other, um, hurting each other. Um, but at the end of the day, if you really think about it, if you really think about like what happened, I don't think that that's a reason to throw away your friendship, especially if you've been friends for years. It's like, if they didn't put their hands on you, they didn't get you arrested, and they didn't cheat on cheat with your girlfriend, then what's the real reason why you're mad at each other? Like, if it's really something stupid and small, fix that. Like, fix that. Like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But, again, I don't think I want... I talked about years ago, years ago on my channel. If you go way back, guys, when I was first starting... And I was super, super, super overweight. I'm still am overweight, but um, I thought about doing a gossip channel because they were like what were big at the time and they were making the most money. But now that I think about it, it's like, I don't want to talk about people. It's none of my business. Stay in my own lane. Like, I wouldn't want them to come after me because I told you again, I'm fans of all these people. It doesn't matter. And I wouldn't want to beat someone down that's already down. Like, I don't understand why fans think they have a right to do that. Like, what gives you the right to make a hate page for someone? What gives you the right to feel like they need to share every part of their life with you? And then if they don't, you want to call them names. You want to attack them. You want to stalk them. You want to make them so depressed to the point where they just give it to you anyways because they want to shut you up. And then you want to get offensive because they gave it to you like that. Like, that's the part that just drives me crazy. It's like, I'll watch some of these 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 um, these um fan accounts that somehow I always get tagged in on, like, TikTok or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. And it's like these people literally, like, 
so angry at this person because they in a new relationship or because they didn't respond to their their message it's like oh my god they have thousands thousands of people sending their messages calm down like even people get mad at me and i'm not even that famous yet you know but people are like oh he never answers me like i remember i read a message on tiktok this person's like he's mad cool but he never answers and i answered that person and i said yo i'm going through like i have 99 messages all the time when i open my tiktok and new followers and new this and new comments and da 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 da. So I sent back, I'm sorry that I didn't answer you, but hey, what's up? Or something like that. Or thank you for following me or something like that. And then he was like, oh my God, he actually hadn't responded. And I'm just like, I would love to sit and respond to all of you guys, but that would take me 99 days to do it. Like, coming from me, who's super, super tiny channel right now, and on TikTok, probably bigger than my YouTube because I have 4.4 4 million um likes and i don't get that on any of my youtube videos except i i don't have any youtube that's made it to the millions none i've made it to the thousands but none that have made it to millions um i understand it and i'm a tiny channel like i understand why people get frustrated and just sometimes turn off their comments or don't even respond and then their fans get mad at them like i get that but at the same time, I feel for the people who share as, as much as they can with their fans and then their fans are still not happy. Like that part, I don't like that part. And then when you guys show up outside their house, that's a little creepy. That's a little creepy. Cause then it's like, dang, I don't even have privacy to even go to my outside my front door. Like that's freaky. Like really, really, really freaky. And you've seen fans that have done some crazy stuff. Look at Selena. Look at that one lady. Look at um, Baldy or whatever his name was. The guy from, I forget that, designer in Miami. I mean, like, there have been some really psychotic people who have done stuff to their idols. And it's like, people are still creeped out about that. To the, like, a lot of celebrities have restraining orders on their cuckoo people out there. A lot of them. Um, yeah. I mean, I had a psychotic ex. And so if it's like anything like that, like, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. But yeah, guys, just just look at some of the, the, if you guys don't believe me, look at some of the YouTube videos. Just like type in Chish's Pages or whatever her name is. I can never even say her name. Just type her in and you'll see like all the YouTube videos done on her. Like all of them. But if you're underage, don't watch them because there are certain things that, just you don't need to hear and I don't want your parents coming for me saying that I sent you to it. And same with the Tony Lopez thing. Don't look at it. You're too young. Unless you know about it already because it's been all over TikTok. And if you're a fan of his already and then you're a fan of mine, then you already know. But guys, I weighed in today. I weigh at 319. I'm finally 319. Like I've been telling you guys for the longest time. I'm finally 319. And my scale, the batteries are good. So I'm not lying about that. Um... Because I was really pissed when I got to Texas and it was like, you're not three. And I was like, are you kidding me? This scale lied to me. So as soon as I got back, I made sure we put in the good batteries and fixed it. And it's actually in my room. It's actually right here. Let me see if I can pick it up. Hello. See, it's actually right here. Remember, guys? Hello. It's ready. See, it says it's ready. Remember that? <laughs> you guys should. Because I weighed myself all the time for like a whole year straight. And then stopped because it started getting annoying. But I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, goodbye. It says goodbye. All right, guys. So I love you and goodbye. <laughs> and uh, go watch yesterday's video. I taught you guys how to shave again. And the cream I used and then how to brush your teeth right. You have to do circles. And... um. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Sorry for the long video. Sorry for blobbing. But I just wanted to give you guys a long video because I don't really do long videos that much anymore. Except with Jama. I'm going to try to do another hour long video, guys. I have only done one hour long video when we made Lumpia the first time. That was like an hour. Straight through. Yeah, straight through. It was like an hour. So I'm going to try to do another one. I don't know when. Probably when we do the spicy noodle challenge. I'll do an hour. Yeah, probably then. Yeah.
But anyways, guys, go get this. This was really good. It's just my tooth hurts and I can't do anything that's stringy or whatever. Really, I can't do anything. But I love you guys. Peace. Oh! <laughs>